Hi, YouTube. I hope you're all doing good. I'm having a not too bad of a day. Um, got a bunch of wood in because we have like uh, round one of our snow coming is supposed to be about a foot and then maybe another foot after that. I'll tell you about some things that are going on if I do get cut off. I might be back. I'm not sure. Depends on how quickly this one uploads or um, so if I do it's just my funky little phone and um, yeah I don't know about that editing thing with that Doug video. I might just have to play it and time stamp it when he um, shouldn't have said what he said for well that I even hate putting it like that but anyway I think that's just how I'm gonna do it I'll probably just use my phone and point it towards the video and click on it when he's doing that there's a couple different things that he said that might get me struck again if I put that through so but um I'm going to share a Time for Justice put out, uh, um, um, well, it's from a book, a, a old book called uh, Pawns in Their Game, and it goes in depth about um, the Illuminati and just how long, actually thousands of years, that they have planned this against us. And a lot of people think, well, that's a little far-fetched, you know, because they have a hard time seeing, you know, beyond like uh, 100 or 200 years or something like that and making a connection with it, you know, in a human way, you know. So um, I would recommend it. I did share it on my Facebook and in my community. Um, I just put... This uh, breaks down, I should put, I put done. Oh, well, I guess I'll go back and, and edit it later. Anyway, just how long the war against humans has gone on. If you listen to anything for understanding of our world today, this would be it. And that is true. Um, it really goes into deep detail about the ongoing even the chemical warfare that's going on against us right now that some people are aware of and others maybe not as much. So, excuse me. Cheers. It was really interesting. Nothing I didn't really know. I mean, yeah, a couple things, you know, but most of it I had heard through the years. And I'm sure maybe you have too, but if you just put it on and listen to it, you might um, gather something from it to help people out right now today. You know, that's my motive at all times. <laughs> so I'm going to roll some cigarettes while I talk to you here. And um, let's see what else. Oh, I don't know. Just, just so much going on in the world, isn't there? You know, it's hard to repeat it all. I mean, all the things, all the information that we get throughout the day, it's really hard to, um, it's not that we can't grasp it or that it isn't in there. It's just um, not even overwhelming. It's almost like information overload. I wonder sometimes if I didn't listen to one video or something and just um, focused on a certain area, if that would be the best thing for me. And I came to the conclusion that it probably wouldn't because all the things that are going on are intentionally designed to destroy us. There Now, there is something I can talk about. I shared yesterday, um, I think it was uh, JP Reacts, and he was talking about how scientists want to ban certain words, and like in the Oxford Dictionary, they 
changed the definition of what is um, feminine and masculine. They want to eliminate those two terms, terminology for describing what a person is, you know, blurring the lines some more between our sexes is all oh, they love that, you know, but, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is changing their book. It's no longer going to be acceptable for people to call each other F-A-T. You're now enormous. D does that feel better? I, I didn't feel better about that one either. It's like, I don't think I'd really want to tell somebody that, you know, I care about. Like, you're overweight and hope you can do better, that you're no longer FAT, but now you are enormous. <laughs> That's horrible. And uh, that was for the kid that um, was really chunky and ended up, um, I don't know if he's the one who blew up. I think that was a girl that she ate these blueberry gobstoppers. But um, let's see, what else were they changing? Just several things in the whole book. It was just crazy. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not going to be using their words that they're using to describe things ever. And I hope people really understand. And that's the topic of my video right now today is the, you can look at words, the um, etymology of a word and where it originated and where it traveled to and how it was changed when it did go somewhere else. That is exactly how they've hidden our language to begin with. If you change the definition of a word and it changes the meaning of a word, like they want to say instead of rape, you weren't raped, you were forcibly copulated or some damn thing like that. That's that's just going too far. No, if you were raped, you were raped. And that word perfectly describes the annihilation. It doesn't sugarcoat anything, you know. So, you know, just little things like that. That, um, so what in, uh, 10 years, kids will no, no longer know what the true meaning of rape is and, and you're forced. Well, yeah, you know, what if you're, um, think you're making love to somebody and they end up hurting you? Were you raped? Were you forced? No, you were raped. You see? And there is a difference because I've been through that. And they want to change what I've actually been through. And, well, and I was actually raped too, but that's another story. So no, I'm not too happy about their changing language to change the terminology so they can get away with more of their things that they are doing to people. So. I might have an interruption, but we'll work through it. So, but if you see what I mean, how, how, I mean, even in the scriptures, we can look into different words and what their real true meanings are. And it changes the meaning of what is being read or what the author was trying to convey in the first place. I am making a video. Um, do you need a cigarette? What? Okay, if you want to come and grab one. So, so anyway, um, I think you get my point on that language thing, how important that is. It's like if you're in a court of law, and the words you use, the terminology is important if you're going to win your case. You wouldn't want to say, like the, like the description of what I described, 
um, you know, to sugarcoat it like, like a person wasn't raped, you know. Well, I think I'm going to upload this part and probably try and come back with a little more um, peacefulness. Anyway, so, okay, everybody, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining me.